Let the rage of the ah, titans rage of the fuel titan. your blades. Step rage of the gods. More death. More destruction. Guys, interrupt my shanking of this guy's mouth. Time to shank and shank anyway. And go. Climb, Glim, climb. Man. Man. Climb down this, because I saw the thingy. You cannot hide things from me. I saw the secret, and now the secret will be opened. Open Sasabi. Pre-gorgonized. Hmm. Rapid fire wind blast and lethal vortex. Honestly, I probably want to upgrade my blades more and more because while it would be nice to have an upgraded magic ability, the blades of Olympus are just ah uh, well blades of uh, Athena are just so much better. Where? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Stinking posture. Let me jump back on. To land. To land, though. Get out of here. Yes, I know. Go away. <laughs> Uh, not cutting in half of these dudes. Be gone. Skelly people. Go back to Azeroth. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, we're back here. Oh. Didn't see this before. Rage of the Titan Orbs. All right. Oh. Makes sense. That symbol means you need the Rage of the Gods to destroy things. Makes sense. Nope, you don't. And die. The end. At last. <laughs> this is the janky old god of war. And not so much janky so far for this one at least. But I really want to play through these ones so I can then get up to the new one. Since I have that ordered, even though it's a uh, backlog for now. From Amazon, at least. So, want to play through go at least God of War 2 and 3 since I've already played through God of War 1. So, I, wa I want to I wanna see. I wanna see. Kill them all. Ah, crap. And think the whole tundra. Kill all the people. Kill all the people and then climb. Climb, climb, climb. 
so because so far this one has been really more action-packed and fast and interesting than the beginning of the first God of War. Which wasn't bad, but I don't know. It was definitely the first God of War, if you know what I mean. This one definitely has more improvements and definitely feels like they're they know what they're doing more. So I can't wait to see what God of War 3 is like. X-Men Clone Wars. Uh, never played that one, but yeah, I do know that Wolverine in some games is just like, ah, ah, and climbs into the wall like that. Stupid bat. Easy to kill bat. Raise your finger for me, Titan. I want to say that I've played a game that does have that kind of, uh... his hand and the Pegasus get away Pegasus he'll before he crushes you again well then again his hands gone now probably not the best idea then again he's Titan and we prefer the Titans over the gods right now wouldn't have had this happen if you didn't crash your goddamn Pegasus now would you Kratos More flying, I guess, now that I have the bow. Kratos, behold the island of creation. Home to the sisters of fate. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. The island is fraught with danger. I went through a stinking dungeon, built the house, Pandora's freaking back. Three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos. Thus changing your fate and the fate of others. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 because they're not really giving me that much. Take this! Take all of this! All you bats will die and give me magic and health. Magic health. No hiding behind the UI, that's rude. Honestly, at this point, I might very well upgrade you as much as I can. At least to see what the upgrade would be like. What <laughs> was it? Take a bite of your wings with a square. You buy. Woo! Get out of here, you freaky Satan man. 
Get over here so I can kill you. All right, we have a square and an oh, goodbye, and goodbye to your wisdom. Anybody else? Oh, one dude. thingy you have, I'll kill you. Well, I don't know what happened. Oh, different mode. Chase him down mode. Through the slipstreams. With his magical abilities, we will fight him. Coming for you. I'm coming for ya! Well, there goes my Pegasus. No you don't. You killed my Pegasus! Or at least uh, took good care of it so I smack you! Uh, punch you with a triangle. Oh, well, this is a triangle. This is a triangle. Another triangle for your trouble! And killed your new ride though along the way as well. Man, you do not care, Kratos. You do not care. Yo, yep, you better land on the Isle of Creation because I think your Pegasus got smashed. Which is odd because it literally was smashed by, uh, what's his name? The Titan dude. Can't go down anymore, so we gotta go up. Temple of Poozies. I'm not big on uh, the super deep Greek mythology. I just know some of the more popular tales. Well, at all, I am Mr. Man. Well, that was fun. It's fast paced, it's getting to the point really quick, it's nice. I really like this so far. Didn't like the backtracking so much, was a little weird. When it came to the Frost Giant Man. But that's only my because of my personal taste when it comes to game design. I don't like being left with, can I kill this guy or can I not kill this guy? Like, what do I do? Do I have a choice here? Do I not have a choice? What is the, what's the up and up here? Perhaps, perhaps, someday I might buy Monster Hunter. It's just like, but the problem is, whenever I see like, oh, multiplayer game on PlayStation 4, but that probably means I have to get PlayStation Plus, and I don't want to get PSN. 
I don't like playing for online if there's not going to be that much good for me. Or if I'm not going to use it that often. And so far, I don't really have anything besides Bloodborne that I would quote-unquote actively use my PlayStation Plus for. So I really have to look into it. It's like, does PlayStation Plus, is it needed for uh, Monster Hunter World? Because if it is, probably not gonna do it. Just because I don't like it. Ow, how dare you. What? How dare you? Man! Throw him! Block him. Don't block him, boy. I'll see what happens if I just smash you. Yes. And then when it comes to place uh, Monster Hunter World on PC, I'm not sure if my PC would be able to run it all that well. At the very least, uh, not at record at the same time. I don't think so. Depends how optimized it would be for PC. Because they don't have the best PC in the world. And unless people just go crazy and start donating to me once I hit affiliate or something. Doubt I'll be able to get a com good computer by the time Monster Hunter World PC rolls out. Evil doggos must die. Evil doggo. Give me that health. I guess I don't really need the health right now. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk! Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh no! I probably missed some extra stuff. Can I go back up? Can I go back up? Thank you! Yeah, PlayStation 3 didn't have, uh, well, had some games where you didn't have to have online to play online. But then they kind of got uh, hit by a lot of hackers and stuff, and then they also saw, ex like, then I guess they also saw the lucrative gangs of Xbox Live. At the very least, even though Nintendo is going the same route, we're like, we're gonna have an online service, even though we really don't know that much about it. We do know that the online pricing for the Nintendo Switch is going to be, like, really cheap. Like, I, I want to say less than $20 a, uh, a year. Press and hold to attach a crank. Oh, that's weird. Don't have it go back up, is my question. Just have the arrow pointed down. What's the point of this? Oh, then we... I'm confused. Maybe I didn't read it that much. I don't know how what to put on this button. Where is the thing that I can put on this button? It is probably up there. I don't like puzzles like these. The little bubbles and blah, blah. Yeah, sixty dollars a year isn't a crazy bad price, but it is kind of annoying. It's just like I spend sixty dollars on games. Now you want more. And while PlayStation Plus does have some cool perks. You don't get to keep some like some of the perks if you don't have uh, PlayStation Plus anymore. It's just like I don't like the feeling of uh, being drawn into their ecosystem like that. You get all these free games, and if you ever stop paying, you don't get those games anymore. 
It just, like, I don't know. That rubs me the wrong way for whatever reason. I understand it, but it's just, like, it's not really a perk at that point, then. It is basically neutered Netflix of games. Well, that's obtuse as shit. Basically, do what you were doing, attack the skeletons, but oh, you didn't attack them enough. The fuck? Oh, apparently a body fell and I didn't notice because... Hey game, hey game, hey game. I picked up the body and then you gave me the pick up body tutorial. Shit him. <laughs> Shit him. Didn't even make this thinking, oh, attack the skeletons. Hey, yeah, yeah, I did that because I was bored. But you didn't tell me the body. I didn't even see the body. The body should have fallen at the front of the gardens, not at the back of the gardens. This is what I'm talking about by their stupid, stupid puzzles. <laughs> they are stupid, stupid puzzles. One obvious thing is missing. You can't do it. And it's just annoying. That's all it is. There's a missing tree. So obviously we have to destroy all the other trees to make it equal. 